In this video, we'll take a look at MD5 hash generator tool. This tool can be used to generate a hash value based on the fields that you select, allowing you to perform customized deduplication of your documents. Let me show you how it works. Here I have documents and I have some metadata fields on the screen. I'm going to generate a custom MD5 hash value for these documents. I will go to batch guru and I'll click MD5 hash generator and I will create a new batch. I will give it a name and I will use saved search to indicate what documents I would like to work on. Once I do that, I will need to specify what fields I would like to use as my source for generating hash value. I'm going to select a couple of fields here and I will add them to my list. Now on the real project, you will use more fields than this, but I'm just picking these fields as an example. And lastly, we'll need to specify what field I'm going to write my hash value to, and I'm going to use custom MG5. I'm going to save my batch and run it. If I click refresh button, I will see that the server has started working on this batch. I can click refresh button to see the status of how many documents it has processed. And if I click it again, we'll see more documents have been processed. Let's go back to documents table and see the new hash values. As you can see, the rightmost column is the column that contains new hash value that we have just generated. So how would we use this tool? In my experience, I've seen emails that look identical, but have one or two fields that are different. One of the fields that I found to be useful to remove from the duplication is internet message ID. It seems like when emails were, were on a certain servers, internet message ID had been modified. I don't know why that happened, but content of the email was exactly the same, but the internet message ID was different. So what I've done is I removed that field from my deduplication process and I was able to identify more duplicates. Another field that you want to look at is time field. I have seen where emails are different by a few seconds in time, but identical in every other way. I believe this has happened when emails were archived to some storage system and then restored back. If you're receiving an outside production, you can generate hash value for those documents as well. This will let you compare documents that you already have to the documents that are being given to you. You can also use this tool as sort of near duplicate identification. If you set your fields for generating hash value very narrow, like date and a subject, you will see documents that are similar, but not necessarily identical. I recommend that you generate new hash values for emails However, if you have to generate a new hash value for attachments, be sure that you include an extracted text as one of the fields in your field list. Otherwise, you will get inaccurate results. And now I'd like to give you a couple of warnings. First, even though MD5 hash algorithm is supposed to be exactly the same no matter what software you use to generate it, I found it to be not always the case. If you have a subset of data you're working on, and you want to generate hash value and compare it to something that already has a hash value, it may not work. I suggest running this tool on all the data you're comparing at once and not trusting hash value that was generated by another software. And secondly, I recommend that you do a thorough QC of the documents you identify as duplicates. It's so easy to forget a field or not to think about certain situation and identify documents as duplicates that you did not mean to. I recommend you treat these duplicates as near dupes and perform a QC by sorting those documents together and scanning through them to make sure nothing important was missed. That's it for MG5 Hash Generator. Thank you for watching.